I've never gotten above a C on any computer science exam for the past three years in college. And honestly speaking, I think my average exam score comes out to 40%. I literally thought I was going to die. I couldn't even do the homework problems. Like 30%, I don't even know what that equates to. Hi, I'm Maddie. I'm a junior studying electrical engineering and computer science at UC Berkeley, and I've interned at Amazon as a software engineer for the past two years. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my experience as a computer science student, briefly talking about what got me into computer science, and then mainly focusing on my experience in college. So to start off this video, I did want to say that I never intended in studying computer science. I mainly wanted to focus on business, but my high school computer science teacher at the time really persuaded me into taking his computer science class and eventually I folded and ended up taking AP Computer Science P and AP Computer Science A. Let me just say I completely hated AP Computer Science A and ended up getting a C in his class. For some reason I just did not understand like recursion and there was a huge learning curve for me. And then I started taking like an app development course and I immediately fell in love with like front end development. I think that's when I started to realize I like the creative aspect of coding instead of you know like backend and learning all these different types of algorithms and so when I was applying to colleges I did apply as a computer science student and I ended up deciding to go with Berkeley as an EEC student. So like I said I'm a junior right now at Berkeley and Berkeley is known for their rigorous CS courses but when I say rigorous they're like really dang hard to the point where they have grade deflation which is like so stupid to me. So starting off with freshman year I came into college with not that many expectations. In my head I low-key thought like oh I have experience with coding especially Java. You know, I took these AP courses and they were pretty hard, but I think I'm pretty set for college. Let me tell you, when I took 61A, which is like the very first CS class that you can take at Berkeley, it's a Python course. I literally thought I was going to die. The class was so hard. I couldn't even do the homework problems. And at Berkeley, the homework problems are significantly easier than the ones you'll see on the exam. And so when I took my first midterm, I was literally about to cry. I don't think I've ever gotten like an F on an exam prior to that exam. So I was like freaking out. I knew that EECS would be a hard major at Berkeley, but it didn't hit me how hard EECS would be. And so after taking that midterm, I was contemplating whether or not I should switch majors. I was open to being a data science major, regular CS major, or you know, a cog sci major. But I realized for every single one of those majors, 61A was a requirement that you had to take to declare. And I was like, wow, I really cannot escape 61A. And so because of that, I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna stick to be an EECS major and if I really can't do it by the end of freshman year, I'll switch my major then. Also keep in mind during that time, I was pledging for a fraternity and so that did take away a lot of my time, but still 61A was such a difficult course, I did not know what to do. So the first semester of my freshman year was really hard for me and I ended up dropping that class and had to apply for a petition to drop the course later in the semester. That first semester of freshman year, I ended up going through with my EECS 16A class which is an electrical engineering class for EECS majors. Honestly, that class was fine for me. I think because it wasn't so algorithm heavy and it was really just understanding like linear algebra and how circuits work, I think that class was a lot easier for me. And so my second semester of freshman year, I ended up taking EECS 16B in addition to 61A and Math 53. And let me just say that was a pretty hard semester too, but also the most fun I've had. I know math isn't really like a technical course, but it's still STEM heavy. I was taking three STEM classes but I was also partying like every weekend. I think I really started to understand like how exams worked at Berkeley and I also started to understand like how difficult the classes are. You know even during my second semester of freshman year I was like retaking 61A and even though I was retaking it it was still really hard but I think I knew what to expect and so I was scared of the class less. Still by the end of freshman year I don't think I've ever gotten above a 50% on an exam. I started to kind of assess that you know what like getting a 50% in a CS course is actually not bad because literally everyone else in the class also gets a 50% but what really threw me off freshman year was the fact that everyone else seemed like they knew what they were doing but I was over here like panicking over my grades didn't know how to do any of these projects but really at Berkeley everyone's going through the same thing and later I was able to join clubs and meet more people and we were all able to relate on like the exams and it was just a better environment to be in and then post freshman year I interned at Amazon and 
Seattle and I was able to get this internship through a program called Amazon Future Engineer and so when I went into my internship I only had experience from my 61A course at Berkeley 61B is I would say a better course for internships because they really teach you about like data structures they teach you Java they show how like different packages work with each other but I didn't get that experience in 61A so I was really scared for my internship but it turned out all right I think my team knew that I was only a freshman so my project mostly revolved around data analysis and Python and Pandas really came in handy and I was able to receive a return offer for my sophomore year which I did end up accepting. So during sophomore year I started to really understand how classes at Berkeley work. During sophomore year I took 61B and CS70 and I realized that I actually really liked CS70 which is really interesting because in high school I didn't like coding that related to like almost math but CS70 is very probability heavy and also proof heavy but for some reason solving those problems on the exam was really fun for me and it kind of felt like a puzzle. I think I really like puzzles and if I just associate every problem that I have to a puzzle I'm able to approach it better. For each exam I had to take multiple practice tests and kind of use that pattern and apply it to the exam that I was taking but I will say even in sophomore year I was freaking out after my midterm because I completely flopped. I think for a lot of the exams, I ended up getting a 30%, which is like less than an F. Like 30%, I don't even know what that equates to, but because I was so worried by the time final season came around, I grinded so hard and I was able to clutch my grade with the final because the final exam was able to clobber my midterm scores. And for those finals, I was able to perform like one standard deviation above the mean. And so the sophomore year wasn't too bad. I definitely had a better experience than my freshman year and what really helped was that everyone's in the same boat. What's hard for me is probably difficult for a lot of other people as well. After my sophomore year, I entered at Amazon, but this time I was working remotely in SF. And I think that internship really showed to me what a software engineer intern is really like because it was nothing like my freshman year experience. And instead it was very project heavy and I was creating a configuration with API access. I think it was just really rewarding to not only see my project come to fruition, but also see it be utilized by another team within Amazon. And I was basically applying everything that I learned in 61B into my internship and I did code in Java during that summer. I also learned a lot of AWS during both internships and it helped me solidify that I do like software engineering but I need a more product focused role. I'm also really open to the thought of being a product manager, specifically a technical product manager. I think what helped was being in a consulting club and the thought of being able to be in tech but also being able to see a product come to life from beginning stage to end is also really interesting to me. So right now I'm still exploring my career options. More specifically regarding my junior year, I took 61C and an intro to AI course. And let me just say I really hated 61C as well and it was almost like I was repeating my experience with 61A again. 61C was nothing like what I had experienced in my previous CS courses. It was very like hardware heavy and it was like seeing how a software can interact with the computer architecture. And at the start of the course I kind of did like it. I thought I really liked the language C and also risk five but once you started getting deeper and deeper it was just not it for me but alongside that course I was also taking an intro to AI course which we coded in Python and I like loved that course which is really interesting because again all of that class which is also called CS188 is just algorithms like learning different types of algorithms learning basic machine learning but I realized that class was really similar to CS70 and I also really like CS70 so I'm starting to notice a pattern with like the type of class classes that I like. I just had such a fun time with CS188. What's also really interesting to me though is that I barely studied for that class. I studied like two days prior to the exam for both the midterm and the final and I ended up performing so much better than my 61A courses. Granted I do think 188 is slightly easier than 61C but just learning about the classes in general was just a lot more interesting for me. But I'm saying that as if I got like a B in the exam. I still ended up getting a C in the exams but but I think it's just a difference between like how many standard deviations you are above the mean or below the mean. And so that's currently my CS experience right now. I've experienced five total semesters and I have two semesters left. For whatever reason, they make those intro classes so difficult for no reason. I think it's just because there's so many more people trying to declare CS um, and they don't have the funds to support it. But to wrap up my experience in studying CS in college, I think it's just really important to surround yourself with the right 
right people. I've heard so many stories about Berkeley is super cutthroat, people lie about when the exams will be and stuff like that. But luckily I never experienced that at Berkeley. I think because the classes are so hard, especially at Berkeley, I think everyone is kind of going through that traumatic bond together. And personally, in my experience, I think everyone's just willing to help each other. And so I know I went back and forth a lot during my journey in being a computer science student, but I'm overall very grateful to be in this field. I genuinely do think that CS is an important skill to have, especially in this tech-centric society, and I don't regret studying EECS at all. Although I dropped taking a CS course in the beginning of my college years, it didn't affect my graduation date, and if anything, I'm planning on graduating a semester early. That just really helped me realize that everyone learns and grows at a different rate. You know, some people found 61A to be super fun and it just clicked for them really fast. But for others, it does take time and that was definitely the case for me. I think especially for CS, although it can be intimidating, I think it's something that you kind of have to persevere through. You know, some people just absolutely do hate it and they do end up switching to a different major like econ. But if you're really unsure, I'd suggest just sticking through with it. And if anything, what really helped was that I wasn't just focused on CS outside of my classes. I really wanted to explore my hobbies. So I joined like a fashion club, I joined a consulting club, I joined a sorority. But even within those clubs, I was able to surround myself with other CS students. I think that also kind of helped me open to other fields. And what I really like about my consulting club is that a lot of the students are double majoring in like data science and econ or, you know, they're met students. And it's really refreshing to see other people who do also enjoy that intersection between like business and tech. And so while I'm not double majoring myself, I was really able to exercise my business interest through that club. But yeah, that's my overall experience being a computer science student. I know my degree is electrical engineering and computer science, but after taking e 16A and 16B, while I did find it slightly easier than my CS courses, I was just not passionate about it at all and I can't see myself doing that as a career. So after taking those courses, I decided to focus most of my studies on CS. These are the type of videos that I used to do in the beginning of my channel, but I started to diverge into like vlogs. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Maybe I'll do more in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!